Hey everyone, hi, how are you? For those of you who don't know me, hi, my name is Winter and I am claircognizant, clairvoyant, clairsentient, clairaudient, and I'm also an intuitive empath and I use my gifts and abilities as well as my knowledge of the cards to channel messages from spirit for you. And this is a collective reading. So if you found your way here, it is not a coincidence, but Take what resonates, leave what doesn't for someone else. You guys, um, I, I am just going to get some Palo Santo because I feel the need for it. Hopefully you guys didn't see my uh, head. I don't know. Um, <laughs> I am, uh, I, don't have, uh, I don't have a wig on right now and I had to shave my head because of hair loss. So... Anyways, um, I go ahead and let you guys know that I am going to be going live tonight, assuming everything goes smoothly the rest of the day. I'm going to be going live, so I would really love it if you guys see this before I go live, that you guys jump on. I'm going to be doing a collective reading, um, and then I'll be doing readings based on donations. So... Um, what that means is that you donate whatever you can afford or whatever you think the reading's worth or whatever um, you want, uh, and I will match your energy. So whatever you donate, um, you know, whatever energy you donate, will I, I will match that energy with the reading. So um, that way, you know, anybody who wants to, to do a reading will be able to because you'll just donate what you can. Or what you want and you'll get a message that will match that energy so um let me give you guys a little bit here and let me set this right chill all right i'm going to use the singing bowl and clear out the energy uh with the sound for myself and yourself and call in spirit if you would like to take this opportunity to um connect with your spirit team you can, and um, uh, all you're gonna do is visualize a healing light surrounding you full of unconditional love. You're gonna breathe that light in, and then just ask your spirit team to connect with you through this collective reading to give you messages that are only of your highest good. And to the harm of none. Okay, <clears throat> I took this nail off because I, I needed to redo it. Okay. Thank you, Divine Source Energy, Divine Holy Spirit. Thank you, Spirit Guides, Angels, Archangels, Ascendant Masters of Light and Love, Ancestors of the Highest Good, Angelic Higher Light Beings, Benevolent Galactic Beings. For the good of all and to the harm of none, I call upon you now and invite you here into this sacred space to help me grasp messages and answers that need to be delivered to the collective of souls that you guide to this reading. I thank you for assisting me to connect with my higher self so that I may see, hear, feel, and know the messages that you have today for the collective. I thank you for enlightening each and every one of the decks of cards that I use here today with clear and easy to understand, honest, accurate, trustworthy answers and messages that come from the divine. Thank you for using the cards as tools to communicate, to bring these messages and answers that are only of the greatest and highest good and to the harm of none, with peace, love, light, and gratitude. So it is. Namaste. Okay, okay. So we're going to start with some oracle. Sorry, you guys, I'm trying to scooch up in this chill. Okay, so we're going to start with some oracle. We're going to do some tarot. Um, <clears throat> so, um, you guys, picking up miracle type of energy okay some miracles for you guys look and we got miracles on the bottom of the deck here 
So, and it says here, spiritual gift to perform acts of supernatural power that are recognized by others to have altered their ordinary course of nature. Look, you guys don't even realize it, but you are miracle workers um, and you are able to perform everyday miracles in your life. I also feel like you can prepare for some sort of miracle to happen in your life in some form or fashion. If you found your way here to this message, I have complete um, trust in my ability to connect with spirit and in my cards. The cards that I am divinely guided to purchase or that... Um, uh, are gifted or whatever like they find their way to me for a reason and <clears throat> those particular cards are channeled for a reason and they show up in my awareness to um, and in my readings and in your awareness to deliver a message for a reason and I do feel like there is some sort of miracle that is going to happen for you so really believing in that miracle there's something here that's going to happen in your life some sort of change that happens so where you're just like, I feel like um, you're like feeling, you're going to feel very blessed or like, oh my God, like that's amazing. Like, I can't believe that happened. Like, this is a miracle. Um, so let's see, Spirit, what do you want the collective of souls that are here that are viewing this video? There is no time and space between us so when you see this it's as if you're watching it here with me now so the viewer spirit the viewer of this reading what do they need to know what do they need to know okay first card out is writing you may actually um you may actually be getting messages about writing. Some of you may al already be writers, enjoy to write, draw. Um, I'm also getting too that you may, um, there may be some uh, readers or potential readers that are watching me that and you're being encouraged to create your own Oracle decks, um, channeled writing, maybe, um, uh, uh, trying to write to um, to to kind of get your thoughts and your ideas out onto paper, um, but regardless, though, whether it this involves actually physically writing or not, there's something here about your words, you know. Your words, like your words are powerful and are able to give others guidance. Um, others would be able to find courage and guidance through words that you share with others. But you may, um, and it's almost too like spirit wants you to know too that you don't have to be um, perfect. And it could have something to do with the writing, but, um, but there's this sense of perfectionism and like, um, you may have like extremely high standards on yourself that you're not having on, that you don't have on others. Um, or maybe you do expect perfectionism or perfection out of others. And spirits like, look, it's okay that something isn't perfect. Maybe it's the way you clean your house because spirit was showing me someone folding towels and it's like it had to be just perfect. So, like, it could be, like, something in your home um, like that. We've got intuition, too. Intuitive individuals are capable of understanding new information without having to go through logical reasoning. And again, like, I, I feel like writing is also going to be a way of you being able to tap into your intuition for some of you. Others of you, it's like you are extremely intuitive and so like you're receiving information or guidance without like there being that, that logical reasoning. You may just know things or feel things in a, that, um, that there is no reasoning behind it. You just know. I feel like you are very, like you're able to pick up on 
subtleties of other people like the way they talk or the way they move and like you can tell when like something just isn't right or when something's off and you may feel like you need to ask somebody like are you okay like what's wrong like you just something isn't right you know so like you may find yourself doing that because you are extremely intuitive even if someone says no everything's fine you may like intuitively like know that i'm gonna pull one more card but like you are capable of understanding things in a way because you just pick up on it. Like you're, you have like this, um, you have this like spiritual antenna. You also, I'm seeing someone too that's doing a lot of self-reflecting, looking at themselves, being um, very aware of themselves on many different levels. This could be like, physical, mental, spiritual, emotional aspect of yourself where you're just really focusing on yourself right now. And with this alchemist too, um, I feel like you are looking at yourself and transforming, changing. You are separating yourself from social norms and practicing like the, the subtle art of detachment as you change and transform, liberating yourself, connecting more with your intuition and your spiritual side. I feel like you, um, Spirit is telling you to focus on like creating change in your life. You may have to like temper yourself a bit or like, you know, like, also, too, I just heard don't water yourself down. So you, there may be someone in your life where you feel like you have to water yourself down around them. Or maybe you feel like you have to, like, water yourself down around certain people. Or, like, when you go out in public. <laughs> Something along the, those lines. But the alchemist here, this would actually, the magician in the, the, um, in the t uh, tarot, the major arcana, is the alchemist like he is um so like you may also be uh, also too this is kind of like temperance energy like i'm getting like the magician with the temperance but also with this intuition card i'm feeling this sense of like impatience like wanting to know the future like needing like a, i need a i need a yes or a no like i need an answer like what's it going to be is it going to be this is it going to be that when there's like this whole gray area you know and so like you may be a bit um feeling a bit impatient feeling like some sort of goal um, is eluding you. Some of you, you may feel like money is eluding you right now. And so like you're really needing to get, get curious about certain situations and really tapping into that intuition and understanding it without needing that logical reasoning behind it. You know, um, <clears throat> really tapping more into like that spiritual understanding listening to those little nudges that you're feeling throughout the day and and listening to what your inner voice is telling you you know listening to that intuition your gut instincts so that you know how to like move forward in a in a situation whether it be with a relationship or a career or your spiritual journey you know um maybe you're like seeking guidance about a relationship you know, and so like this is spirit saying, just listen to your intuition. What is your gut telling you? You know, listening to your heart and don't doubt what your gut is telling you right now. That alchemist, again, like I said, it could be like that temp, the, the temperance energy too. I do feel like Archangel Michael is connected to you. You may be connecting with Archangel Michael because... The temperance card in the major arcana of the tarot, the temperance is Archangel Michael. That's that's Archangel Michael. It, like the the golden haired angel is supposed to be Archangel Michael, um, but with those beautiful like red and orange wings, which 
I do feel like root and solar, um, the root and solar plexus is coming up for you guys as well. So you may need to like create some sort of balance. Um, getting to the root cause of some situation in your life as well creating balance in your life maybe you've kind of been thrown off track lately and you're attempting to like get back into the flow of things or like get back like you know like getting into the flow of something here getting back on track and headed in the right direction um i feel like there may be like some for some of you there may be like some lingering chaos and, you know, you're really just needing to, like, temper yourself, stay calm, cool, and collected. Because now Spirit is showing me the Nine of Wands in my mind's eyes. So there could be someone that could, you know, be trying to piss you off. Either now or in the future. Um, having patience and, and, and faith. Like, if you're feeling with this intuition, like something here is eluding you, you, you know, and it's like, you don't know 100% like how it's going to play out. And so you have to really listen to your intuition right now. And you have to really um, follow those subtle nudges and that, that still small voice and like really being patient, um, calm, cool, and collected. Somebody may have to, I know this sounds kind of like cliche, but I'm hearing like um, taking lemons and turning it into lemonade that may be significant for, for someone. Right now, it's about trusting in divine timing for some of you too. So finding a balance with your mental physical spiritual wellness you know and like really deepening your spiritual connection and that may be like you may need to spend time like um maybe even reading for some of you reading books or like um to to find some guidance that you have I feel like two other people or someone else really looks at you and sees you as a very intuitive spiritual person that they look to or look towards for guidance. Getting like some sort of social cue from you. Or this could be you looking to someone else or looking to others for social cues. Also, too, like, if you have kind of um, felt like something, like some sort of goal that you have with, like, with your career is, is eluding you, start, like, I'm seeing, like, a fresh start for you and you, like, um, getting serious and, like, creating strategies or creating some sort of plan of action in your career to, um, to, to, be able to have success for yourself and there's there is a fresh start that's co that's coming um i also feel like there's someone that is maybe a little bit obsessed with you or like focusing too much on what you've got going on so like you may have to like really clear your energy at this time show me clearly spirit what does the collective creating a routine so also releasing any kind of expectations that you may have for for like your 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 career or like your financial abundance or any expectations that you have at all regarding some sort of goal that you have no matter what that goal is you know um just kind of releasing that um those aspects like we're being overly focused on like the material or like the outcome releasing those um uh, expectations of a particular outcome but right now creating a routine 
because like if you've been procrastinating or like putting something off or like if you get um like in that seven of cups page of cups dreamy energy where like you're feeling inspired but you're also kind of procrastinating or putting something off creating a routine to help your give yourself that structure that you need is really going to help you with your success you may already be working on creating a routine in your life or like trying to like come up with a schedule of some sort some 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 type of schedule for yourself career so like creating a routine and planning and creating these different milestones so that you can set yourself up for success releasing expectations um also like avoiding people who are not going to support your your goals right now so like if you are wanting to have that success um, if you're trying to like reevaluate um, and plan for your career and you're needing to know like how is this going to play out? Am I going to be successful? Am I going to pass those exams? Am I going to like, you know, like feeling like something here is eluding you? Am I going to finally get the success that I deserve or am I going to finally get that success that I want? Like really right now creating that strategy is going to help you um, have success so like creating different milestones and celebrating those milestones so first creating that routine you know giving stop procrastinating actually getting out there and doing what it takes you know maybe you already have been um uh, in this uh routine and and now like really like planning your career and trying to figure out you also may need to like sit down and write up a routine for yourself to help give you that structure and that guidance you know and like really looking at it and be like okay um it's 10 a.m now it's time to sit down and do this for this for however long and then like giving yourself the, like um, those milestones like okay so once I get this done then I'm going to allow myself time to do this or that for myself especially like if you have ADHD like I do those types of things really helps with procrastination and also too like if you're just like cleaning your house you know like it's okay I'm gonna clean from this time to this time and then you know, once I've reached that, I'm going to like um, uh, reward myself with whatever. And that's going to give you that success that you want to, you know, as well. What do they need to know? Thank you, Spirit. Show me clearly. I, I really want for one to like fly out but this deck doesn't necessarily look avoiding toxic people so look there may be like some people that don't like the fact that you're changing or that you have changed and so this alchemist it's like um liberating yourself it's liberate it's like this inner liberation it, it's about transformation and changing and you are evolving and moving past like people in your life so like um, you may have to like stop hanging out with certain people even if they are family members you know like and really you may have to like all right so what I'm seeing is someone that is 
changing, going through some sort of change in their life and going down another path that some people don't fully understand, completely understand or fully support. And you have to be open to the idea of loving your journey and nobody else needs to love your journey except for you. So like uh, really avoiding those people who are not going to support you or can't support you because they're not on the same path as you. Um, and as a side note, like I am, I keep seeing this for the collective home needs TLC. So of course it's not gonna be for everyone, but I do see a large amount of collective are either A, relocating, renovating, like redecorating, um, or just like needing to like clean your home. The home needs some like real TLC, you know? So like maybe cleaning out um, closets or like organizing things like that is also going to create this environment for you to have that sense of flow. Maybe you even are thinking about feng shui or need to think about feng shui. I'm also seeing too someone that needs to stop being so damn nice all the time, you know? Like, F it. You don't have to, like you're not obligated to be nice to people. Especially toxic people who could give two craps about you. You know what I'm saying? okay so let's see y'all look look there's the magician you have the ability here to create whatever kind of change that you want and there are people in your life that don't want to see you successful so don't be around these toxic people as you are trying to manifest abundance because toxic people and situations can interfere with what it is that you're trying to manifest in your life to bring um, what you're trying to transform and change and also like spell work doing spell work in order to create the kind of change that you're wanting to see in your life whatever area that is whether it is elevating in your career or your spiritual journey or your relationships doing self-love um, uh, candle magic Money magic. <clears throat> Show me clearly what does the collective need to know. Oh, yeah. So, like, look. Um, also, too, the... It's, okay, so it, it's the chariot, right? And, and it's over here in the same area with the create the routine. So, like... Creating a routine is going to help you limit that procrastination and give you that structure to, to help you get busy and move forward, you know, to, to give you that success that you're wanting right now. So like stop putting something off and creating that routine that's going to really give you that drive and that determination to achieve this success that you're wanting. Um, You may really, this may be like something that you're really struggling with too. Um, and really like pulling in the reins right now. And it, it's like, it's going to take willpower, you know? So like, if you are the type of person that has a difficult time staying grounded or centered or like you know it's going to be something that you're really gonna have to like pull in the reins and be like okay I'm doing this right now and I'm not gonna stop doing what I'm doing until like I've gotten to that point right plan your career look the page of swords um Okay, so sorry, you guys. Hold on just a moment. I'll be right back.
Okay. So sorry about that, you guys. So, look, the Page of Swords, this is like gaining information, really, um, you know, oh, so sorry, give me just a moment to, let me get a sip of water. The Page of Swords is getting focused and creating, like, creating a strategy, and that's exactly what it is here, like, you, um, also, too, like, you may be getting, like, interrupted or, like, constantly getting interrupted here since that's what we did. We got interrupted just a moment ago. So, you may need to, like, really um, release any interruptions right now that are keeping you from going after what it is that some sort of goal that you have for yourself. Right, so like if you are getting interrupted, like just finding ways to, of just staying focused where you're not getting interrupted and sticking to that routine, okay? Um, but like the Page of Swords with regards to career is, is definitely like that, you know, ambitious go-getter um, type of, of energy. And this is about like, um, having your career like completely mapped out right um, and so like this could be like continuing your um, education or you know like that that type of energy like again like having that strategy of what you need to get ahead so like you're probably going to um, come across some obstacles here and so like really listening to your intuition and so following those subtle nudges you know um, as you come across those op um, those obstacles right um, keeping your head down and persevering um, as you um, keeping your head down and persevering through whatever kind of obstacles that may pop up but the Page of Swords, that is like that planning ahead, having everything mapped out, you know, being on that mission to pursue your dreams, to pursue your goals, you know, ask yourself like, what are fresh new ways that I can use my creativity to like share my gifts with, um, with whatever this um, goal is that you have for your career, you know? what's the message that I was put on earth? Like, what is it that I need to do to accomplish this, to accomplish X, Y, and Z, you know? I feel like a lot of you have something on your brain with your career, like it is on your brain, like really focused right now, like seeing dollar bill signs or like seeing um, the, your future right now, whatever this is, it's like something here is like really, on your brain and so like you may be really interested in learning more about your particular about this particular career or goal that you have for yourself um but like really expanding your knowledge so that you can get ahead but i do feel like there is some inspiration that's going to come in I'm seeing you being excited about the future. I do feel like um, you really need to focus on communication and creativity right now. Getting created at getting creative as you really plan um, and create these strategies to get ahead, like either in your particular career um, or like in some sort of field, some like like your current job where you're currently working or like in this field that maybe you're going into, maybe um, going back to school or like teaching yourself something here. Let me get a sip of water. Okay, we're gonna do one last card here. Spirit, tell me more for the collective. One last card, please, for the collective. Page of Wands. Also, too, this is the second time that the Ace of Cups has been on the bottom of the deck. 
So, like, avoiding toxic people with the Page of Wands because you don't want them to ruin your excitement. You don't want people to come in and rain on your parade to keep you inspired, to keep you motivated and driven to go after your dreams. To to um, Because I'm seeing someone eager to like learn more about either the, a career or spirituality. Um, and like you don't want someone's toxic mindset to um, to come in and like whether they're whether they try to or not so other people could just be living in like this matrix 3d thing whether they're toxic or not and like their energy can come in and like um blow out that that fire and that passion that you have towards seeing the world in a whole new light but this is what I have for you guys, and I'll be back and do another reading since ours got interrupted. I want, um, and it kind of like, you know, so I want to do us do another one for us. But you guys, don't forget about my live tonight, and I hopefully will see you guys there. And um, and don't worry, I will be doing another collective here in just a little bit and upload for you guys and the divine in me. Vows to divine you. Namaste.